Hi guys, thanks so much for stopping by. So today I will be doing a makeup or skincare product review and this is for Mario Badescu's um, facial spray with aloe, chamomile and lavender. And um, I hope you enjoy the rest of my video. You're gonna hit the like, subscribe, and of course the bell so you're notified every single time I do upload a new video. All of my social media accounts are in the description section, so do check that out. And where you can get this, especially since I always try to add a coupon code or a discount code to the products that I am reviewing, or even other products that might be having a sale right now, will be in the descri description section, so do check that out all the time. Um, it says here, it's a famous paraben-free facial setting spray in a luxurious lavender-infused mist that comforts and hydrates skin. Benefits infused with lavender oil and enriched with antioxidant vitamin C to hydrate and help de-stress skin. Sounds really great. Um, suggested use mist on face, neck, or hair as needed. Use it to infuse more hydration before or after applying moisturizer. So this isn't just a setting spray for makeup, but it's also for... Um, also kind of like a toner, kind of an overall thing. You can use it as a toner. You can use it as even an essence essentially, but not really. Um, you can also use this as one of those rehydrating sprays, especially in the very, very um, drier months. So if you have dry skin like me, um, you really do need stuff like that. So of course I wanted to try it. And the reason that I haven't been using this very much is because every time I try it, um, and the last time I tried it, my skin just wasn't having it. I have sensitive skin um, for the summer months or the very, very hot months, which I live in a, I can live in a humid climate. Um, it is more of a oily combo normal skin. For the rest of the year, I have more of a normal, uh, slightly combo, um, dry, very dry, extremely dry, incredibly dry skin. So um, using this was one of those things, why not? I have to say it smells really great. And in theory, it's amazing. It's rated really, really well. A lot of people rave about this, but it doesn't work on my skin. Um, so when I use this, my skin actually burned. Like it just felt like my face was on fire and incredibly itchy. I had to wash my face, I think twice. And I had to put prescription medication as well as um, over-the-counter um, ointment that I use. It, it kind of soothes that. The prescription is more of a skin inflammation that my son and I share. Um, it, it helps, you know, kill all the problems, but it doesn't help with the uncomfort, like the, the uncomfortableness, like the burning or the itchiness and stuff like that. So that's why, um, I don't know why it did that, but it did. Um, I, and I, and just so you know, I have tried this in different times of the week, different seasons, different situations. Um, me testing out different, different, cause, um, with or without makeup or me testing out or not really testing out skincare. Um, so I've tried this with like, let's just say I started a new skin product out of the, the lineup that I have and maybe it's my second day or third day. I tried this, it didn't really work out. Um, I tried it with just there, I wasn't testing anything else but this, you know, I just, I kept giving it a try and it was either, I was itchy or burning or both. So if I don't know what it is, but it just doesn't work for me. Um, it didn't make me break out, but I couldn't really use this consistently because it was just, I was in pain. Um, so I don't really recommend this. <laughs> I mean, I guess I can still recommend it. If you don't have super sensitive skin like me, this might really work for you because, oh my gosh, everybody loves this thing. Everybody loves it so much that I'm just like, why don't I just give it a shot? And I love the very, very simple packaging. So, you know, I gave it a shot. It just didn't work for me. And I've had this for a really long time because I can only use it sparingly because of that. And I always thought it was something else, but it's not. So, um, yeah, I, I don't really recommend this for me, for my skin. I don't recommend, I do not give it any thumb up and I give it a zero out of five stars. 
Um, if you are still interested after this review, go ahead and check it out. Maybe your skin is not as sensitive as mine. Maybe it just works wonderfully with you, which is great, which is great because um, I hear and I've read that it's such a great product and this has been recommended over and over again. It's just not for me. So, um, you know, I hope you never have like the issue that I just did because it was very, it, the last time was, I think I sprayed it a few days ago and my face was on fire. Like I, it just felt like someone threw something that was just from the stove and it just, it was burning me. It was just so uncomfortable and just horrible experience um if you guys wanted to ask more about this particular product let me know down in the comment section below if there's anything else that i didn't really cover let me know down in the comment section below i am allergic to beeswax and cocoa seed butter or cocoa butter i don't believe this has it in here so <laughs> that's why i tried it out um anything else guys let me know down in the comment section if you have any other questions that i might not have shared or anything else if you've had a negative or positive um, outcome from this particular product share it down below as well because everybody has their own unique skin and this might work for you which it just didn't work for me so thank you guys so much for the support the encouraging words you guys are wonderful beautiful people i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys again next time bye